Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 8 of season 3 of The Bad Batch. Um, I'm stressed, man. I am stressed. This whole fucking season is incredible and it's stressing me out. Um, last week we had some great episodes uh, and I can't wait to see what happens next. Um, I'm scared. I don't know what where we're going to go with this. Like, I have absolutely no idea where this is leading, but... We are with all the clones. We have a bunch of clones together now. We've got Gregor. Uh, we've got Rex. We've got Echo. We saw Wolf last week as well, which was wild to have Wrecker, or sorry, not Wrecker, to have Gregor, Rex, and Wolf all on the same screen at the same time. Like, besties. They're going to be roommates and they have no idea. Um, but yeah, that was wild. I'm also wearing my uh, Gregor t-shirt today because I'm really hoping that we get some Gregor content today. Look! Oh my boy, I got the, the, the ah, ah. I'm so excited. I, I I was just really happy to see him. And we've got Hauser back as well. Um, we did lose a couple of clones last week too, which was quite sad. Uh we lost Fireball. Fireball was cool. Um, but yeah. Uh let's get into the episode. I'm praying for more Gregor content. I'm praying for like a like a nice little chill episode, maybe where we can just like have the clones talk and just vibe, you know? I don't think that's gonna happen, but let's get into it and see. God, I'm so delusional. Oh, I don't like that name. All right, so we're back on Pabu. <sighs> you know, staring at your calm won't make Echo contact you any faster. Where did Echo go this time? He and Rex lost most of their squad in that attack. All because the Empire was after me. Incoming transmission from Fee. Who? She's a liberator of ancient wonders. Hex girlfriend. <sighs> pirate. She's a pirate. <laughs> oh, so he hasn't met Fee yet. That's interesting. Okay. I wonder what Fee's nickname would be for Crosshair. Oh, it's so good to have her back. Easy, by the way. Text brain was the data bank, not mine. But I came through, as always. And what did you find out? Why? Oh, <laughs> the pointy hunters! <laughs> You're better off asking a bounty hunter. We have run into a few. Oh my god, dude. What about Phoenix? Who? <laughs> He was hired by the Kaminoa. I forgot he doesn't know like any of these people. <laughs> she might know something. Stay on Pabu and stay out of trouble. Oh my god, are we gonna Go get Ventress soon? Fine by me. <laughs> See if you can convince him to get his hand looked at. Ignoring it won't make the problem go away. Oh. He cares so much. I saw a Godel. There's a Godel in the background. I saw his horns very, very slightly. Another one! The less Finnick knows, the better. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh shit. Leave. We'll finish this later. It's going to cost you. Yeah, we figured. Get out. I thought we were making a deal. It can wait. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> the way Wrecker's just like looming over, he's like, <laughs> leave. <laughs> so, I haven't done one of those jobs myself, but. Might know someone who has. Can you put us in touch with them? Now that will definitely. It's gonna be Cod Ben. How much? More than you've got. You're good with demolitions and ordnance, right? <laughs> you're saying that to the right. The yeah, you're saying that to the right person. The tracker. What's your point? There's a bounty I've been trying to bring in. Worth a lot. 
but he's been hard to catch without a crew. Oh, so you want us to work with you? No, you'll be working for. Who's she after? You follow through. I'll get you what you want to know. Deal. We'll use my ship, and so we're clear. I keep the payment on the bounty. I wonder if she's after Quinlan. If she's looking for, I know she says she's not on the side of the M count business, but she could be looking for Quinlan, and that's how we lead to now? Ventress. The same. It may never heal one hundred percent. Oh. There's nothing else you can do. I have exhausted all medical treatment options. Perhaps the issue is not something physical. PTSD. You think it's in my head? If you were to elaborate more on the experimentation you were subjected to... We're working for her now. We don't even trust her. What choice do we have? I mean, if this is if this is the only way, then you gotta try. For anything. We made a deal. Wanna tell us who it is we're going after? Silas Eris. Oh. The Slayer of Ordo Eris. One of the slipperiest marks around. He's creepy. A tip on his location. Well, what did he do? <laughs> Got greedy. Took out a couple of top bosses for the Haxian Brood and escaped with a cache of credits. Haxian Brood! The people want him found. The other hunters that went after him? Dude, that fucking Haxian Brood name drop has just got me. Ah! The air here will kill you. Don't go dying on me until the job's done. So many pit droids! Oh, I'm so happy! I Ooh! need a boat with speed, and not something that'll capsize like last time. That's what I thought. I would love to visit this planet. Even though you can't breathe on it, I would love to visit this just for the pit droids. So always keep your eyes on the water. Why? What's in the water? Oh no. Let's just say I'd never go in it. Uh, oh, don't we scare him? <laughs> Have we ever seen boats in Star Wars? Is that a thing? Have we? At the engine. We might have done, but I'm not ringing any bells. There's some type of mine up ahead. How many? I can't tell from here. Better get in there and check it out. But you said you'd never go in the water. Yeah, she wouldn't. You are. <laughs> oh my god! Fennec, you queen. Oh, oh, that's more than just one. That's... That's one too many. Dozens of them, and they're all on sensors. You're the explosives expert, right? You want that information or not? Yeah, you do. She's loving this for herself, isn't she? <laughs> that was close. Close doesn't count. It's either a hit or a miss. You're still more capable than most. <sighs> That's not good enough for a sniper. Whatever they did to you on Tantus could have affected you more than you realize. No, 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 it's not in my head. Just Is it? There's nothing AZ can do. Doesn't mean your hand can't get better. Maybe you're the one who has to fix it. Hmm. How? I'm gonna cry. I have an idea, but you're gonna have to trust me. I'm not gonna like it, am I? You don't like anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh I love the three of them so much I'm actually like tearing up oh god man what is it? oh want to speed it up 
Yeah. Um, no thanks. They are horrifying. Ah! 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 Fucking hell, he just went for it. Oh my god. Yeah, you tell him, Wrecker. You punch the shit out of him. I love him just wrestling with a crocodile. I love that. <laughs> Fucking hell. I never go in the water. Dude, Wrecker is so fucking badass. I love him. Everybody needs a Wrecker in their life, let's be honest. Like, I would feel well, safe for the rest of my life with him. Which direction? Just so you know, I didn't lose Omega. I let her go when the bounty was called off. By who? The client. They thought Omega would be safer with you guys. Guess they were wrong about that. <laughs> oh. I guess you'll work for anybody as long as you get paid. This is dark and spooky and I don't like it. Like, it's a good atmosphere and all, but I can't fucking see shit. Dude, I can't see anything. It's so dark. It looks brighter on my OBS, but on my monitor I can't see shit. <laughs> I think it's cause, partly because of my uh, my light and stuff as well. Oh no, don't go in the trap! Oh no! Oh, he's a freak! Oh, I don't like him! <laughs> Wrecker! The target went underground. Underground? You heard me. Come on, Fennec, you gotta help them. Nice one. <laughs> oh, he's so creepy. Nice. Ew. Hell yeah, teamwork. See, Fennec, you chose the right people. Never doubt the bad batch. Exactly. I'm always right. Grab him and let's go. I love her. <laughs> what? Oh, they're meditating. Meditation. Oh, that's so sweet. Not just your hand, but your mind too. He probably thinks this is bullshit. Adjust your position and breathe. Where did you learn this? I picked it up from my friend Gunji and the other Wookiees on Kashyyyk. You've been to Kashyyyk? <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, there's so much he doesn't know. <laughs> You've missed a lot. I know. But I love this side of him. I'm so happy. <sighs> Pleasure doing business with you. Hang on. You promised us information. You can either fight me or trust me. Take your pick. Good choice. Yeah. I'll be in touch. Yeah, you better, Fennec. I 
just finished a job with some clones. They were asking about the Empire's M count bounties. What can you tell me? I'm sure you can track them down easily enough. I'll send you what I have. You know what? As much as I wanted to trust Fennec, it's she's a bounty hunter. It's it's Fennec. Like she she does stuff for herself. Um, but I'm not expected. I I'm not surprised that she obviously, you know, betrayed them. Um, but yeah, uh, I wonder who she's talking to. Is it Cad Bane? Is it Ventress? I don't know. When she said that she had someone to track down, I really had the idea that it would have been Quinlan, and that's how Ventress kind of comes into it, but I guess I was wrong. And we got the Haxian Brood instead. Um, for those who don't know, the Haxian Brood was part of a uh, Jedi Fallen Order series. Um, and I don't know if they were... Are they from anything else? I can't remember. Yeah, no, so they're, they're only from... They're only from the Fallen Order, the Star Wars Jedi series. Um, which I assumed, but I wasn't sure if they'd, like, appeared in any, like, books or if there'd been any, like, name drops of them anywhere else, but I think that's pretty cool. Um, we've had a couple of mentions, actually, directed towards, uh, Fallen Order. There was one of the episodes they men mentioned, a rabid Yotas. Uh, I can't remember which episode it was or who said it, but I remember, uh, watching my reaction back and realizing I didn't pick up on the fact that someone said like oh they compared it they were like oh it's like a Yotas or something and I didn't I didn't click with me when I heard the name uh, until I watched it back I was like holy shit so they've had a couple of drops honestly and then there was in season two when they were like with Fee and stuff there was stuff that sort of hinted towards like the Zepho if I remember correctly so Cal Kestis appearance Baron appearance who knows um I don't know but Haxian Brood, that was pretty fucking cool. The guy that they were after was creepy as fuck. Um, but it was nice to see Fennec again. Um, and uh, Hunter and Wrecker, always the greatest duo. Love them together. Love Wrecker so much. Like, he is the most badass motherfucker. Like, you can't deny it. Um, and then the whole Crosshair on Omega stuff and Batcher. I have to include Batcher in there. My heart, man. My heart hurts for them both. Like, they're just so sweet. And I'm really, really happy to see how much Omega has matured because her maturity is showing, like, really strongly. And Crosshair is realizing that she's not just some kid. Uh, that's his sister. His extremely mature and very strong sister. Like, she is... She has been through so much shit and she's still, like positive she's still going like she's she's really one of the best written star wars characters and i think crosshair also is too um i think crosshair tech and omega are some of the best written characters of all time i think they're incredible what they've done with the bad batch has been just it's been great it's been really really great to see and having omega and crosshair helping each other mostly omega helping crosshair at this point it's really really nice to see um they're obviously leaning more towards the fact now that his hand, I know some people have guessed this, but it's like more like PTSD based, more like the trauma of what he's been through and everyone is willing to help him. So even, even Batcher, even Batcher is the emotional support dog uh, that, that he needs, honestly. I think Omega and Batcher are what he needs to get through this. Um, and obviously the support from his brothers will be a big help too but i think omega is the key so i i'm interested to see where we go next week now i will let you guys know that i will be uh, away next week because one of my best friends is getting married um and i and i am the maid of honor so i will be away in uh i'll be away from home next week uh so i i will so like i said i so i will not be able to react to the bad batch episode nine next week um that will most likely come out i'm gonna say monday the first i know that's like almost a week later but i'm literally i i literally there's nothing i can do about it um so episode eight instead of coming out on the 27th i will be reacting to that on the first so 
please, I beg, do not tweet me about the episode. Do not say anything. Don't share screenshots. Nothing. I want no spoilers. I'm going to be staying off Twitter. Um... And I, I want nothing. I don't please don't don't tag me at anything. Uh, try your best to hold off. And if you see anyone like tweeting me saying, "Hey, where's your video?" or if you see anyone in my Discord or if you see someone in the comments of this video saying, "Hey, where's your next episode?" Please let them know uh, if they obviously haven't already heard me say this that I'm not gonna be here. Um, but I'll be back again, like I said, on Monday the first to react to that, and then two days later I'll be there for episode ten. Um. So just wanted to get that out there to let you guys know. I will tweet about it. I will put it on Instagram uh, for anyone who doesn't watch like the end of these videos and stuff, um, which, you know, fair enough. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, especially because I'm going to have to wait for like an extra almost week. Like you guys are waiting for my reaction. I have to wait to actually watch it and experience it and figure out what the hell is going on and to figure out which bounty hunter or who uh, uh, Fennec is on the call with. Is it is it Ventress? Is it Cad Bane? Is it someone completely different? Is it like I don't know, an Inquisitor? Who the fuck knows? Like it's it's very interesting. With like I don't know the exact dates. I know Fallen Order was five years after Revenge of the Sith. This is literally basically straight after, right? Yeah. Okay. So Bad Batch was nineteen BBY. Fallen Order was 14 BBY, so there's five years between them, so they're very close, honestly. So there could be some kind of overlap. There's been plenty, as I said earlier, there's been plenty of, like, sort of hints towards them both, plenty of references. So honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if there was more, more references from Fallen Order that show up, um, because they are also very close-knit. Um, it would be very interesting to see. Um... And that really excites me. Obviously, as you guys know, my Fallen Order obsession. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, uh, drop a like and a comment uh, if you want to help out with my channel interactions. And I will see you guys on Monday the 1st for my next video. So peace and may the force be with you.